So in order to get the custom articles to show up on the homepage of your website and also to place lists of your recent articles and recent products into the sidebar area of your website, I've uploaded this new views template file. So we just need to download this by clicking on it as we did before. And then once downloaded, we go to a barbecue website. So just to show you what we're going to do here. So this is a site I've set up. So you see we've got these articles here and these are the custom post type articles. And you see it just pulls in an image and also it pulls in the introduction. What you fill in the introduction field of your articles, it pulls in that text here and adds a continue reading. And this image is image number one when you create a new article. So it pulls in image number one also creates this continue reading and pulls in the title and the title the image and also this continue reading they all link through to the article if you click on it so that's this is my article so what it's done is it's pulled in this introduction bit here and also this first image and the title here so as you can see it's displaying different articles that i've created and it's nice and neat and just shows it off and it shows a few and then you can click older and newer posts to see other ones. And also what I've done here on the right hand side, I've got this recent articles area. And this is a sidebar widget area. And it's displaying the recent articles, 10, the 10 most recent articles here. And also I've got a new products, which I spelt wrong, so I'll change that now. But a new products area, which again lists the 10 most recent products that I put on the site. So if I go into my widgets, so we have the sidebar area here and you see you've got these WP views widget areas which are here. So when you first install a views plugin it creates these two new widgets options here. So basically just drag that into the sidebar area and we displayed them. So, so I've corrected it there. So just save that. Okay so I'll show you how to set all this up on your website so you can have it displaying exactly how you want. So again I will open up my example site that I did last time when I installed these plugins. So it's got the same theme running and it's got the sidebar and there's nothing in there. And we've got these two widgets but if I pull this WP widgets I've just clicked on it and dragged it up or you can just click on it and say add widget to the sidebar here. So you see this WP views widget has gone into here, but there's nothing there because we haven't set it up yet. So I'm going to get rid of that. So we just need to go ahead and install this views template that we just downloaded. So go to views, then go import export. Just like last time. And then we're going to import. But because we've done it before, you know, we imported these articles and products and the styling. We don't want to overwrite these with a new file. So we just leave all of these options blank here and we go ahead and find our file that we want to load. So it's in the download and it's this views template is one we just downloaded. So I'll open that and import it. So there you go. It says it's imported five content templates and three have been created. Zero have been overwritten, which is good. And three new views, two have been created, none overwritten, which again is good. So if we go to the content templates now, you will see it's add this barbecue content template again because we renamed it in the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to trash and you should do the same because you don't need this barbecues one because you've modified it in the last time in the last video to this products. So I'm just going to move that to trash, but it doesn't matter. It just ties these things up a bit, but you'll see we have these three extra things in here and, and what they are, not that you need to really worry about it, but if we go to WordPress archives, one of these things is this home page display that's set up, which basically just says to display that image and the title and that little bit of text. So that's in here. And we also have what are called views. And these are the list of articles and list of products that we have in the sidebar. So these are these set up here. But again, we don't need to worry about it too much. But one thing we do need to change because when this was set up, it was on my barbecue site. So it's looking to display the barbecue products, but we've renamed ours to products that I showed you how to do in the last one. So whatever you called yours, 
but in our case it was products we need to make sure we assign it here so click on edit on this product list and then we just need to select what we want to show so content selection so we want to show our products and whatever you call yours here it will be listed as that name here and you just need to tick it and it automatically saves so that's all we need to do so now if we go back to views you see it says it's going to display the products and 10 of them and the articles we don't need to modify because that's called articles here and we didn't change that last time it's going to show 10 of them to you if you did want to show more than 10 if you go back to edit if we go down to this limit and offset you just click here and we can change it to whatever number we want so if we only wanted to show five you would select five or 20 we could go down to 20 but 10 is a good number so we're just going to leave ours as 10. okay so now that is done we can go to appearance and widgets and we're going to say display a list of our recent articles and recent products in the sidebar so we click wp views we say add to this widget area here which is sidebar we only have one add to widget and we see here what do we want to show we've got two options we can show a list of products and list of articles so we want to say list of articles and then we can give it a title so it can be whatever you want but i'm just going to say recent articles which i've already done there and save and we'll add another one it's wp views add this time we want to show the products, so recent products. But if you want to say whatever your product name is, I can say recent barbecues, or you can put whatever you want, but recent products will do here. So that, that is now displaying these 10 product pages. Okay, so that is that set up now, so it'll display these in your sidebar area. There's one final thing we need to do. By default, on the blog page, WordPress just shows posts. It's configured and hard coded into the files of WordPress is to show posts. So we need to say, don't just show posts, also show these articles that we've created. So this is a tiny bit of editing to what is called the theme functions file or the functions.php, but it's pretty simple to do. But make sure you copy exactly what I do here because it can cause your website to crash if you do it wrong but it won't do if you copy it exactly. So go down to, under appearance, go down to editor and select it. And then once in this editor section, on the right hand side, there's this file here called theme functions, select that. And it opens up the theme functions, functions of PHP file. Scroll all the way to the very bottom of this file and just before this last question mark forward arrow, put the cursor, hit enter to make a space, and then copy this text in exactly, and this will be in the Slack folder. So just copy this text exactly. Control, just control C there, and then we click into this functions file and control V, copy it exactly, and you'll see here basically saying show posts and also show articles so you just click update and then you get a success if you do something wrong this code isn't exactly right you may get a white screen here and can't access access your site you can get around it but this will require some more complicated stuff but anyway that's all set up now so now it should display your custom post type articles on the home page and also the list in the side.